Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is for the December horror box. Um, I know which one this is because I already got the pop culture. Uh, if you go back and watch the pop culture unboxing, I had no idea which one was getting me first. Excuse me. Just, uh, I was setting up real fast, so a little out of breath, but um, they had an issue where the tracking numbers didn't happen, so nobody got emails on tracking numbers or anything, so just packages showed up. So the pop culture box made it to me before Christmas, and this one made it to me after Christmas. Their intention was to get everything out so people could get it before Christmas. They got it out before Christmas in enough time that it technically could make it to everyone, both the boxes, but the problem was, you know, shipping's nuts around this time of year, so, you know, you never know. So mine ended up coming afterwards. Like I've said before, you know, it kind of sucks because of what that ends up meaning for me personally is when I post a video, it gets way less views because there are, there are a lot more videos that go up before mine. So it truly is like a feast or, feast or famine type deal in, in, with YouTube with unboxings because if you're one of the first few people to put the videos up, you get a ton of views. If you're much later, you get almost nothing. So, like, I range from, like, if I'm one of the first, I'll get, like, you know, seven, 800 views. If I'm toward, you know, some days off, I get, like, 100, 200 maybe. So, kind of sucks, but, you know. Okay, so anyway, for this particular box, um, I know what one of the, uh, okay, let me rewind on this. I'm very excited about one of the franchises in here. I teased it at the end of, I think, the last horror unboxing for people who were fine with getting that spoiler of what franchise I was excited about. So I'm very excited about one potential thing in here. Um, the other thing is they were doing an, kind of an upgraded uh, autograph for everyone as kind of like a thank you. So um, honestly, I ended up finding out what it was because they were posting like hints and one of the hints, they posted a photo of this individual, uh, which I guess that photo's kind of been used uh, other places before, but they, like, really blurred it so people could kind of only really see, like, the the colors in it, but it was all blurred. Um, but someone on that thread, when I was looking at it, I was just like, oh, I wonder what it could be. I saw that someone had put on there a clear version of it and everything matched up, and I'm like, ah, that's what it is. But if that's what it is, which I'm pretty sure it is, pretty awesome. So I'm pretty excited for that. Uh, plus, it's just really cool of them to do that, to be like, you know, this is an autograph we're typically not going to put in there, but here you go. So tissue paper, as we know, for the cat. One, two, three. I like it. Keep these three coming. Okay, so here's a little, it's like a photo. Oh, snap. Okay, this is a first for this. I'm an instant winner. This is awesome. Um, okay, so this is actually a thing. Uh, I know I've talked about how some time ago how they were going to do like extra like drops of like bigger and better things for people, golden tickets, things like that. So this is an instant winner, which means that I just won a free Bambox from Bambox, which is awesome. So all I need to do is contact their support team uh, with my name and email, and I can claim it. Yeah. And it's attached to my account. So this is what it looks like when you get it. There's no code on there or anything. It's just actually attached to my email. So when I email them, they'll know this is the person. So I can go ahead and use that. That's awesome. I love that. That's exciting. That is exciting. So honestly, if I hate everything in this box, I'm good because I got a free one. So that's great. All right. So the first, what is this? What is this? Okay. Chloe, you calm down. My cat's going nuts. I don't know what this is, but it looks cool. Huh, okay. Oh, oh. I think I heard them saying something about this. Something about, like, a weapon. So it kind of looks like it. So it's like a scorpion thing. I guess this is something that can go on your keychain so you can defend yourself if you need to. Honestly, for self-defense, this isn't a bad thing. I, I You know, honestly, when I'm parked in places that are not the nicest of areas, I will usually walk with my, like, w one of my keys through the middle of my hand, like, balled up, and it just sticks out, because if you have to hit someone, you know, it's stuff you don't really want to think about, but, and I've never been in that situation, but, you know, 
So you could put that on there, and these things are sharp too. So that is self defense, a self defense item, which is kind. Of, I mean, it's kind of weird for the horror box. I mean, I understand because it's like a scorpion. But at the same time, I do appreciate getting it because it's something I can use or I can give it to my wife or something. The design on it is pretty cool, too. So, it's interesting. It's kind of a weird, like I said, it's kind of a weird choice for a box like this, but I also like that I got it. I don't know. Uh, I also got a 1-Up, so that's nice as well. Or I don't know if that, I don't know if this just corresponds with the instant winner or if I got an additional something. I don't know. If so, that's, like, super cool. And there's a piece of paper, oh yeah, this is just the same thing saying, like, why is it that you're not getting a Bambox box that has, like, pictures and, like, the branding of Bambox on it? We've covered that in other other unboxings. Uh, and then I get, oh, okay. Mm, I don't really like these types of things. So this is a mock business card from a movie. Uh, it's from American Psycho, and it is Patrick Bateman. The character that, um, oh my god, why am I blanking on his name? Christian Bale portrays in American Psycho. Really good movie. Really over the top. A lot of people misunderstand what it's about, but really good film. Check it out if you haven't seen it, if you're into horror. Um, these types of things, I'm not, I don't really care about that much. It's kind of a throwaway thing for me. Um, the pin. The things I do really like. This is from designed by Dirty Girl Pinko, uh, Dirty Girl Pin Company, I guess. It's at Dirty Girl Pin Co. Um, this one is out of 250, so this is my upgrade right here. I did get another thing in addition to the instant winner, so that's pretty sweet. That's actually really sweet. So this has to do with Krampus. Oh, this is nice. Although the hand is very dark. You'll see what I'm saying. Look how dark the coloration on the hand is. I wish I wish the hand was more of like a gray or like a blue gray or something like that. Because like in general, it's very dark. See what I mean? Like it's really hard to discern a lot of the actual... Oh, there you go. So the light kicked in a little bit better. You really have to have it in light because you can see this is kind of like a mauve or something. Uh, let me try and get the... There we go. Light better. And then it's like a dark green down here. The design's really good. I really like it, and it's from Krampus. I really like Krampus. Michael Dougherty does an awesome job. He's the one who wrote and directed Krampus. He also did Trick or Treat, and apparently he's doing a Trick or Treat 2 after his current movie um, that he just finished comes out, which is Godzilla, King of Monsters, which, watch that trailer. That looks good. It looks really good. If you just want to see, like, really awesome-looking kaiju duking it out, it looks like that. That looks good. I'm, cur I'm always curious on these. Like, what number did I get? Number 228 out of 250. So, I like that I got that. Um, it's a cool design, but like I said, like, the colors are really dark, so you really have to have it in the light. Which, you know, that's fine. I guess I'll just have to put it in the light. But the design's really nice. It looks really good. And I love Krampus, so. Alright, so here we go for the art print. I'm sorry if you guys hear my cat. She's just like yelling in the background because when she's not getting attention when she wants it, she's just like, she's a mess. Hey, Chloe, Psst. calm down. Here, take your, here, take this tissue paper. Have fun. She will too. You'll hear you you'll hear the crinkling over there. Okay, okay. So this is the art print is for the franchise I was very excited about. I'm a big Phantasm fan. I like all the movies to varying degrees, but I'm a fan of all of them. I love it. Loved Angus Scrim as the Tall Man. If you haven't seen Phantasm, give it a shot. It's awesome. So this is a Phantasm art print, and it is by Bianca Thompson, who's actually done stuff for the Band Box before. She's a really cool person. Uh, she had commented on one of my videos that I put out where she had um, these individual uh, art print cards that she put in, which were really cool. So I'm excited to see this. Plus, she's a cool person, so, you know. Oh, man. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Really unique. Um, I got number 560 out of 2,000. is signed by Bianca. So the thing I like about her aesthetic is that it, it's kind of, it looks kind of like spray paint in a sense. Like it's kind of like graffiti spray paint style, which I think is cool. But look at this. Like 
the phantasm ball with with the um, the spikes coming out and, and the uh, drill. It's so iconic. And then like the extra balls up here and here. It's so great. Tall man, Angus Scrim. Yeah, that's nice. So, Chloe, please. Please. She's like a child. She literally is like a child. Just wants attention. Um, anyway. Yeah, this is cool. I like this. I don't have like any Phantasm stuff pretty much to put on the walls, except a signature from um, Reggie Bannister, who signed a print for... Chloe, I'm serious. <laughs> Shut it, dude. Um, Reggie Bannister, who uh, was plays a, basically plays himself in them in all the movies. He's in all of them, which is great. Um, but he he does a good job. But he's you know anyway. I have I have a a still from one of the films signed by him, which like a four barrel shotgun. It's pretty sweet. Anyway, sorry about the stuff with my cat. I know it's kind of probably kind of comedic to a degree. All right. So then the autograph which yes okay i am correct in what it was okay so like i said this was one they put in they were like we usually wouldn't do this this would be like an expansion pack which usually expansion packs i haven't seen them for anything less than like 70 dollars or so um so this is typically like a big money thing they would usually you know make it go for a lot so the fact that they just went ahead and put this in there and said this is a thank you to everyone is really cool in my opinion um, it sucks that I knew about it ahead of time because I'd be even more excited right now and be like, oh my god. But I'm excited to have this. Uh, so it is a, an autograph from Nightmare on Elm Street, and it's an important one because it is Heather Langenkamp. For people who don't know, she's Nancy in a few of them. She shows up in a few. That's a good picture. You can see Heather Langenkamp up there. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah. Okay, so this is even better. Um, if, if I have the opportunity to meet her, because I do go to horror conventions, I'll definitely still meet her and get her to sign something, because I have a, um, a signature from um, Robert England as Freddy Krueger, like a picture of him from one of the movies. And so it would be nice to put it next to. So for now, I will put this next to it, because that's a nice thing to have. And then if I, meet, if I end up meeting her in person at any point, I'll get that signed, something signed and put it in this place. But... Until then, this will be right next to Robert England's autograph. It's a very cool, very classy fan box. Very classy. I like it. All right, so then let's go ahead and see what variants of things there were. Okay, so there were a few different autographs. Oh, wow. Okay. So I probably got the one that was the least iconic and cool of all of them, but it's still good. So this, these are the different ones you could have gotten. You can see this one over here. Definitely my favorite of them. That's really cool. Well, it's a limited out of 99, so of course. Of course that's the coolest one, because that's the hardest to get. Um, you know, that thing about, we don't really need to show you, it's just a business card. The pins, okay, so the regular pin is actually really cool. It's like a full-on Krampus. Then the limited edition one out of 250, and then out of 99 is the little gingerbread man getting stabbed. If people have not seen Krampus, see Krampus. It's awesome potentially, nah, it's probably top five for me for, like, Christmas movies, because I don't really like Christmas movies in general, so it's probably top five for me. Like, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation will be in there, and uh, The Night Before is a really funny, good one, so things like that. But uh, then they have these polyresin self-defense keychains. That's what they call these things. Um, yeah, so it just doesn't... Yeah, multiple styles and colors. So these are the ones you could have gotten... I guess there were there were a bunch of different colors you could have gotten, but the styles are like the scorpion, this um, kind of like Dracula skull, and uh, is that a, what is that? I guess it's just like some kind of like nondescript demon. It's kind of hard to see because like black on black, but okay. And then the phantasm print. Actually, I'm glad I got the regular one because the drab color on that kind of takes a lot of the uh, detail out of it. So honestly, I think this is this is an instance where I'm really happy that I did not get the limited edition art print. I just think that it pops so much better. There's so much more detail. And then they always do the giveaway, so they have a one-to-one -one scale pinhead bust wall mount. Um, doesn't say it's signed. It's just a bust. Usually it's a signed item, but that's still cool because 
Pinhead's amazing. Anyway, um, obviously this is a good box. So let me let's just like relook real quick. Autograph obviously is super awesome. Just because of this. That's awesome. Just awesome. This is really cool. I'm glad they finally did something Phantasm. I like this a lot. Good job, Bianca. Pin, really good from good franchise. Really awesome. Um, the self-defense thing, like I said, it's, it's weird, but it's helpful, and I'm glad that I got it. So that's good. And then um, the... The business card for Patrick Bateman from American Psycho, that's kind of like a whatever thing. Like, I'd be fine if they just didn't put those things in there, because I'm just going to recycle that. Like, I don't need that, you know? Like, anyone can make it if they really want it. And then the fact that I got an instant winner, pretty freaking awesome. Like, this is a... Yep. Merry Christmas to me. <laughs> from Bambox. Thank you, guys. That, that's awesome. I really like this. Uh, Bambox going strong, man. I've been enjoying their stuff. So... Thank you everyone for checking out this video. P please feel free to say some things down in the comments. I really like to engage with everyone, especially about the horror stuff. I'm down to talk movies, like specific films, my thoughts, your thoughts. Let's talk about horror. Let's do it in the comments. Thumbs ups. Cool if you want to do that. Subscribe. Uh, it takes you literally like a second, and it can really help me out in the long run. If I can get more subscriptions, I can do more boxes. I can do more stuff, and that would be great. So anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out, and until next time, keep it brutal.